Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Um, today I am so excited to do this video. I am doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. Um, Charlotte Tilbury is a brand that I have wanted to try really ever since it came out. Um, if you're not familiar, Charlotte Tilbury is a celebrity makeup artist. Um, she has a lot of like Hollywood inspired products. Uh, a lot of her lipsticks are named after celebrities. Um, and she's her her line has continued to expand as um, you know as time has gone on so there were two products I already had before you know uh, the past week or so um, I already had the airbrush flawless foundation and I already had the um, film star bronze and glow you may have seen me use this in previous tutorials um, but then Valentine's Day came around and my husband was so generous and as my Valentine's Day present he bought me a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury makeup so I'm so excited to share these products with you all and kind of give you my thoughts on them as I go along um, I did use most of these products for the first time yesterday they came in the mail yesterday um, so I went ahead and tried them out last night and then um, I'm excited to use them again today and like I said share my thoughts so if you all are interested just keep on watching uh, I am gonna be doing this makeup look I know the lips are a little dark and 90s looking but um, I <laughs> will just go with it um, so uh, again thank y'all so much for watching and let's get to it Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This is a, a primer that's supposed to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and imperfections. It's a glowy primer that gives the complexion an all-over soft focused spotlit effect. So I used this for the first time last night and I don't know, I might not have just, I might not have applied enough to really feel that much of a difference. But if you look, I'm going to show you on the back of my hand. It's got um, almost like a uh, pearlescent appearance. Like you can almost see little bits of not glitter or anything, but just like a shimmer um, that does give it kind of a, um, a glowy appearance. So I, I, this does feel hydrating. If you have oily skin, you may not like it as much. My skin is usually um, normal to a little bit oily in some areas, like around my T-zone. But here in the winter time, I've been experiencing a little more dryness than usual. So this feels really good on my skin. And I think last night when I used this, I didn't use enough to really make a difference because now I do see a, a glowy kind of radiant look. So I like that. And I'm gonna go a little bit on my eyelids just because I'm not using an eyeshadow primer today, which I know is a huge shocker because I, I'm all about eyeshadow primer, but um, you'll see what I'm gonna use, so stay tuned. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. Um, this is a three in one product. So I'm gonna show you, but it's in the shade Supermodel Brow. So it has a spoolie on one end, which is, you know, just a your everyday spoolie, which is nice. And then you've got on one end of this, so it comes apart. Um, on this end, you've got like a little highlighter. It's almost like a little sponge tip. And then on the other side, you've got a, um, a an angled kind of brow stylus tool. So I'm going to go in first and comb my brows. And I'm very fortunate because this, so this product came in a kit and the shade was already predetermined, but it just so happens that it matches my brows really nicely. So, and I've, I'm not used to using an angled product to do my brows, but I like it. I did it last night. There we go. Um, so now I'm gonna take the highlighter side and just go right under my brow bone. This shade is a little darker than I would usually use for my brow bone. I feel like usually I go for a more white colored um, highlighter, but I like it. it. It blends into my skin really nicely um, and it just, 
I like it. I like it a lot. So I actually am really loving this brow product. Um, I, I, you know, I didn't really know what to expect, but I really enjoy it. So next I'm going to go in with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I actually got this a while back. So I'm going to take just one pump on the back of my hand and I'm going to take my Sigma F60 foundation brush, just a flat paddle foundation brush and just paint this on my skin. This shade may be just a touch dark for me. Like I said, it's the winter time, but we'll make it work. And then I'm going to go in, I'm actually going to go in with my beauty blender and just, so this is a very full coverage foundation. I feel like you can really build it up to, um, to be like really thick, full coverage. I'm used to wearing almost like a tinted moisturizer every day. So this is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but I like it. And I'm going to go back in with a brush. I feel like it doesn't blend really super well with a sponge. It might dry or set just a little bit too quickly for a beauty blender. So now that my foundation is done, and I'm sorry, that shade doesn't match me completely. It does look a little more yellow than my skin tone. Um, but I'm going to go in with the um, Magic Away Concealer, and this is in the shade 3 as well. Oop. And it's like a little, sort of like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's got like a little sponge tip and um you crank it up and then so it can it has the potential to get a little messy <laughs> but um so you just gotta watch for that and i'm taking my um morphe jaclyn hill jh 12 yes the jh 12 which is my holy grail under eye concealer brush it just blends things out so smoothly and so quickly so so there we go, I'm concealed. I'm gonna take the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It's in a beautiful rose gold compact. Um, very thin as well, so it would be great to put in your purse. Um, and I believe she makes refills for these too, so you don't have to buy the compact all over again, which is very eco-friendly. I appreciate companies that do that. So I'm going to take my beauty blender. Last night when I wore this concealer, I, I've gotten in the habit of setting my under eye concealer with my beauty blender and the powder. Um, I noticed last night I just used a brush and I don't know if maybe I didn't put as much powder as I'm used to so it didn't really set well. It just creased a lot. So I'm gonna try the way I usually do powder and I'm gonna just dot it under my eyes. I did notice with this powder that it really does have like a blurring effect, um, which is really nice. So we'll see how this does in comparison to the way I usually do my powder. But that was the only thing I noticed about that concealer. I do like that concealer. I feel like it's very, um, it looks very natural but it, it still gives you a good amount of coverage. Okay, yeah, so my face, after using that powder, it looks very um, airbrushed, which is the name of the powder, so that kind of makes sense. So now I'm gonna go in and bronze. This is a product that I have had for a while and really love it. I'm gonna go in with the uh, Filmstar Bronze and Glow. This is in the light shade. They do have a medium deep shade that is a cream product. Um, so I'm gonna take my mini powder and sculpt brush. I'm gonna go into the contour shade. Of course, this one right here. The other's a highlight shade, which I'm also gonna use.
this is a product that I think I definitely am going to repurchase. The contour shade is just really nice. Um, and the highlighter is also really nice too. And the packaging is just so beautiful and sturdy. Um, I'm going to go in now to the same contour shade and just take it on a bigger, fluffier brush and just bronze up my face with it as well. But I do think for people who have medium or um, deeper skin tones, you definitely need the darker shade because you know I'm I'm very fair especially in the winter and I feel like I can be very liberal with this product okay so now that we're contoured I'm going to um, take my little a23 brush by Anastasia and take my highlighter right there and just highlight my face I'm gonna go in a little bit on my nose And then on my cheekbones. And this highlight is just a really nice natural highlight. Like it gives you a little something without being too much. So I like that a lot. So now I'm do, gonna do the fun part. Well, this has all been fun, but um, oh, actually I've got one more step. So I'm gonna go in with the Cheek to Cheek Blusher in Love is the Drug. So I've gotta be honest with you, there are not a lot of Charlotte Tilbur Tilbury blushes that I see and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have that one. But this one I think is the prettiest one in my opinion. So it's got this lighter pink edge and then in the middle like a, a bright pop. So I really like that. I'm gonna, um, she calls them swish and pops. I, I think I've seen her do multiple tutorials and she always like goes around and then gets a little bit of the center. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I think that's just a really pretty natural flush. And um, this is another really beautiful compact. I don't know if she sells the blushes as pans only. I don't think so, but um, okay. And now I'm just gonna go over everything with my F30 large powder brush, just to blend everything in, make sure everything is nice and seamless. And now I'm gonna go in with the Rose Gold um, Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow. This is a gorgeous packaging as well. Um, and it is a beautiful color. Oh, sorry about my nails, you guys. Ugh. I tried to cover it up with my other hand and it was worse. <laughs> Just ignore them. I need to paint my nails. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques um, base shadow brush. So it's like a synthetic brush. And I'm just going to very lightly because these are very soft. Um, and you really don't need very much. So I'm just gonna, this is the easiest eye look. I am literally just putting this from my lash line into my crease and just blending it. And it is so beautiful. I wore this for the first time last night and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. This is the simplest thing when you're in a hurry and the formula is so good. I wore it for several hours last night and it didn't crease or anything. And if you wanted to, you know, you could deepen it up with a shade in the outer corner, but like I, I am also dragging it down under my eye. So, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just getting a very small amount and just putting it on my eyelid. getting adventurous but then you know when you put a second layer on you can really see the rose gold begin to show through and I can't remember if I said it this is the shade rose gold she makes them in all different shades uh, there's a gold one there's kind of a taupey colored one there's a, a I think a champagne colored one these are just really really lovely Okay, and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to go under the eye on this side. Okay, 
And then I am going to do liner. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, use the Feline Flick. This is the shade Panther. So it's a dark black. We'll see how this works on camera. Okay, we're doing all right. That is quite a wing. This liquid liner has a very long felt tip and I've gotta be honest, I'm not quite used to it yet. So I did not do a very good job on my wings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I clean up my eyeliner kind of in a hurry. Um, so you all know if you ever mess up your liquid liner and you've already done your face makeup, all is not lost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I have a little tiny thing of um, eyeshadow remover or makeup remover here. This is actually uh, micellar water. So I just shake it up and then I dip the edge of the Q-tip down in there, swirl it around a little bit. And then I like push it against the sides to squeeze out any excess so it's not like dripping wet. And then what I do is I just clean up the edges. Okay, and then I take the dry side and, you know, just kind of finesse it even more. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side because that wing got a little bit longer than I wanted it to. So I'm just going to fix it. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. Okay. Okay, so those are a little more manageable, a little more what I can work with. So I'm gonna let the micellar water dry. I'm gonna throw that Q-tip away. And then what I do after that is I just go over it with my foundation brush and just clean it up, blend it in, fix it. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the um, Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Bedroom Black. And it says it's a liquid, but it's not. It's a pencil. Um, I don't know why she calls it a liquid pencil because it's definitely a coal. But I did wear this last night and was very pleased with the longevity. Like I wore it in my waterline like I'm doing right now. And then I did it in my tight line as well. And I actually even wore it in the inner corners. Oop. In the inner corners of my eye um, just to kind of connect that bit um, when I did the liquid liner and it lasted really well so okay so now I'm gonna go in with the um, just some lash curlers I have these are not Charlotte Tilbury these are Revlon um, and I'm gonna go in with the legendary lashes volume 2 and I just want to show you the tube it is so cute so it has like a winky eye on it um, I just, I love that. Charlotte's packaging is so luxurious feeling. Okay. And I'm going to pile this mascara on. This mascara so far, um, and I just opened it yesterday when it came in the mail, so I've just used it to today's the twice. Um, it's a very wet formula. So if you're not a big fan of a wet mascara formula, you probably won't like this. Um, it, I feel like it doesn't add as much volume and length and just overall drama as I was expecting. I mean, when it says legendary lashes, you think like, bam, but, um, I mean, like I'm, I'm piling it on right now and it does build up nicely.
and it lasts well and it also maintains a curl really nicely. Okay. So lashes are done. I'm going to go back in with a Q-tip and clean up the mess that I've made. <laughs> I don't know why I'm really being messy today. Probably because I'm filming. All right, and the last step, I'm gonna take the Pillow Talk. This is the medium shade. So there's three shades of Pillow Talk now. There's uh, the original Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk Medium, and then Pillow Talk Intense, which is designed, each step up is designed for deeper skin tones. I'm gonna go in with the shade Medium. I like this shade a lot. And this liner is very, like it's, it's softer than um, like a MAC liner. It feels, um, it feels softer on the lips, but it is still long wearing. And then I'm gonna take the matching lipstick. This is Pillow Talk Medium. And fill my lips in. So there's the finished look. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, the products that I really am obsessed with include the, um, these little eyeshadow pots. These are the eyes to mesmerize specifically. I'm wearing the shade rose gold. Um, I just think it's so beautiful. Um, I'm really enjoying the lip liner. I'm really enjoying the powder. I'm looking forward to trying that out some more and the I coal, um, the, uh, let's see, rock and coal eye pencils. Um, I'm really enjoying the black one. Um, I, I'd like to get the brown one too, because I don't always wear like a black eyeliner, especially not during the day. So, um, anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If there are any Charlotte Tilbury products that you all love, um, let me know. Um, and uh, thanks again so much for watching this video. Um, if you've not already, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you all um, on my channel. I'm trying to build my channel up, you know, kind of slow and steady, but um, I really appreciate y'all's support and encouragement. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day, and I'll talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.